looks like we are live. Uh, live na ba tayo? Teka lang. Hoo -hoo. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this started. All right. Um, it says, oh, and hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our part two of this webinar series. Oh, let me just mute this para, para walang, ano, walang, walang feedback. Okay, okay, I wasn't sure if it was live. And as you can see, May, um, well, today, um, we have like, the uh, logo on my side. Where is the logo? Uh, yeah, we have the logo on my side. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful Friday night. We know na, di ba? Basta Friday night may gimmick, pero andito kayo, andito kayo sa ano. And here we are at a webinar where you can learn more about um, working on. I'm, I'm just loading the comments here in my phone. Where you can learn about being successful. Where you can learn about online freelancing and working from home. So thank you so much for attending this. Um, if you can share your excitement with me in the comments below, I'd love that. So just you know, just share how excited you are uh, and share why you're here. What do you want to learn today? Why are you here? Why are you attending this? Okay, what, and let me know, what, what is it you want to get out of this session? Well, we do tayo. So what do you want to get out of this session? Medyo pink yung mukha ko, no? The lighting's a bit weird. Anyway, um, remember that you can get this freelancing toolkit if you attend all four sessions and if you share this webinar with your friends and your family. So please hit the share button. Please hit the share button and share this with your friends and family. You know, we want to share the, the word about online freelancing with Filipinos, um, both in the Philippines and even you mga OFWs. So if you hit that share button, please, please share this. This is a free webinar series. Um, this is part two of the series. But even if they haven't attended part one, people can still attend this. If you haven't attended part one, don't worry about it. That's totally fine. Um, but yeah, we will still send you, you know, just share this with them. We'll send you the freelancing toolkit. Um, and we'll also send you the slides, sorry. We'll also send you the slides after this. So just share this, guys, and hit shared down below. Um, if you attend all four sessions, you will get the certificate of completion. And you have to, you have to do the attendance sheet. We had an attendance sheet last week, and then we're going to have an attendance sheet this week. But even if you didn't attend last week's, don't worry. We'll still send you the slides. Just please share this and don't forget to fill in the attendance sheet. But if you attend all four sessions, we will have you will get the certificate of completion, um, which you can add to your portfolio, which you can which you can show. And I'm signed on this right here, so you can show this to other people. Um, you can show it to possible clients, to possible online employers that will give you jobs. So we're very excited about this this free certificate of completion and oh yeah just just as a reminder the freelancing toolkit will include a checklist for you to get started working online the pros and cons of working online and it'll include the summary and the slides of everything included in this four-week training so yes yes sure um Lilette's saying can't wait to start my freelancing job really want to stay with my kids while working excited to know how to i'm excited for you too uh. And for those that didn't attend the first session, don't worry, we're going to do this, this series again in the future. So you can still get the certificate, pero um, behind next year now, you know, we have holidays na, bur months na, October na. So it's almost Christmas. So back in January, we'll have another session. Na same nito, we might make a few changes, but yeah, we can, we'll still give certificates for those that attend there. Um, watching from Qatar, hi, uh, and dami, and dami nating attendees. Uh, um, MJ, welcome, welcome, thank you. Don, Lilette, Mrs. Kat, Dave from Cebu. I'm also in Cebu. Um, Fran from QC, Anne, Shad, O, um, Roxy, Roland, Elissa, Ellen, Nova from Davao, Jehan, Darius, um, Raphael. Thank you, Jensel, for sharing this. Kathleen from Batangas, uh, Charmaine. I'm just reading. The, I'm just reading your comments over here. Uh, Joy, Geraldine, Stephanie, uh, Thirsty. My own dami. Arrive from Qatar, OFW. You know, we hope that we can help you work from home. Para makaka-uwi ka naman sa Pilipinas, di ba? So, we want to help you do that. Um, 
Uh, I won't read the damn comments. Hindi tay hindi tay matatapos if I keep reading all the comments and everybody who's saying hi. But we have I love it that we have um, people from the Philippines and people from around the world. Meron pa from Dubai. Sino pa from Dubai? Uh, Louis from Dubai. Sino pa yung mga OFWs here? Shout out to the OFWs. You know we want to help you guys, especially you know come home from working abroad and spend time with your family and even if you're not in OFW you're still welcome we'd love to help you out so that you don't have to you know work in corporate and then you know spend time with the traffic we don't want you guys to experience that so we're here to teach you how I don't camera go it's a bit it's a bit low it's a bit high to teach you how you can start working from home with these sessions with your know, sessions not in detail so yeah all right all right so just as a recap, this is a four-week training coverage. Last week, we talked about intro to freelancing. Um, we talked about, uh, in this week, discovering, we're going to talk about discovering the skills that you can offer. Next week, we'll talk about how you can get your first client. And then, and then the fourth week, we're going to talk about, <laughs> sorry, I um, The fourth week, we're going to talk about handling client interviews. And what's exciting about next week is that even if you kang experience, we'll teach you how to get your first client okay um last week we we talked about what is online freelancing so it's being a business it's offering your services online just a recap here the truths and myths of online freelancing so you mga myths na freelancers don't get paid well diba? we do get paid well um the nasa news lately yung, yung snabi ni john yung john pagulayan yung can earn six digits nasa ano channel gma ba yan? um Another myth is that freelancing is unstable. It's unstable if you make it unstable, pero you can get multiple clients. Freelancing is easy. That's another myth. Na patay type lang, wala kang ginagawa sa bahay lang. Um, it's difficult. It's a challenge, but you can earn a lot. Another cha- another myth is that freelancing is hard. Na hindi siya pwede kung wala kang degree, kung hindi ka techy, kung hindi ka marunong, hindi ka magaling mag English. You can definitely still get freelancing jobs. Okay. Um, and then freelancing will give you freedom. You know, some people think na freedom na pwede ka na magtambay sa bahay, pero you have to work hard. I can't stress that stress that enough. You have to work hard as a freelancer. Um, also, what tools do I need to start freelancing? You need a computer. You need internet. Uh, we talked about who are your clients, mga small business owners, uh, and do you need perfect English to be a freelancer? No, you don't need perfect English. You just need to be able to be understood and to communicate your um, to communicate your thoughts to our clients and some our companies. Okay, this week we'll talk about what is a niche. So, a very exciting. We're talking about what is a niche. Yung pinigusapan na niche. Ano ba yung niche na to? Um, what skills can you offer clients? How much should you charge clients? Um, what if you're not techie? And how do you build a portfolio even if you have no experience? Next week we'll talk about where you can find online jobs. It'll, a lot of people are waiting for this. Is it really getting competitive online? We'll, we'll answer that question. Um, we'll talk about how do you create a profile that stands out. Um, we'll talk about how you create a cover letter. Also, common, mga common mistakes when you're writing a cover letter. And then, the fourth week, uh, Brian was asking November 2 or November 9. The fourth week will be November 9. Take note, uh, so November 2, we'll take a break because it's holiday pala yung November 2. Um, so November 9 yung week 4. Okay, November 9 in week 4. Okay, um, how to prepare for interviews, power words and scripts to appear confident. So, mga interviews, like ito. how to receive payments from online clients, and you want common scams, and how to avoid you mga scams online. All right, all right, and then what's next? Once again, at the end of the training, you'll get a freelancing toolkit and certificate of completion. Uh, watching one well, accountability call, can't watch the video what happened. Uh, may mga tech issues yung iba, no? I think it's, yeah, GMA, tama, tama. Thanks, Jen. So, um, can I comment and can hear you speak well, but now I can't. If you can't see me, uh, usually you should refresh. Yung Facebook has mga issues minsan sa mga live videos, so just refresh so that you can um, see the, the video. Okay, okay. So, yeah. so, are you guys ready to get started? But this is what we're talking about today. Are you ready to get started? If you're ready, let me know in the comments and we will we will get started soon. I'm just going to drink some water here. So, nakakapagod to keep talking like this.
All right, you guys ready? It's a bit laggy though, so I'm going to fix it, but is it laggy for everyone else? Um, we have, and, and yung feedback from last session, I heard your feedback na yung, yung questions, we'll try to do it um, at the end, mostly, and then may, may section tie for questions. So still, still post your questions, but I won't get to them immediately because sabi ng iba na interrupting discussion and parang it's better if parang totally totally discussion and mamaya pa question but still ask them um, and we'll just answer them at specific times sa session okay so hindi agad agad yung answer sa questions all right ayun are you ready are you ready okay so first of all we'll talk about what is a niche okay what is this thing na parang excited yung mga tao ma uh, choosing a niche yung mga experience the freelancers they always talk about Yung mga niching, ganun, ganun. So what is a niche? Well, according to definition sa dictionary, a niche is a specialized segment of the market for a particular for a particular kind of product or service. Ibang lalim, diba? <laughs> lalim ng dictionary definition. Pero specialized segment, diba? specialized segment. So specialized meaning specific segment. So you get very specific when we talk about the niche. Okay, so. When when you think about another niche, just remember, specific niche is something that's specific. Now, what's the what is a generalist? So, the opposite of a niche is the generalist, and a generalist is the general market for a product or a service. So, we specialist tayo. You know, specialist, just like in medicine, right? There are spe- doctors, right? There are specialists, and there are generalists. And same thing with freelancing. Main specialists, it's a niche. Uh, those that are specialists, they focus on a niche. And then there are generalists tayo who have a general market for a product or a service. So, I, I have an example here uh, to better illustrate that. Yung, ano, ano pa talaga yung general, generalist versus yung specialist, yung mga niche na yan. So, May example ako. So, let's say you buy a house. Ganda lang drawing, no? This is a house, by the way. If you don't know what that is, this is a house. So, scenario A, okay? This is scenario A. So, you buy a house. Okay, you buy a house. Pero, after a few months, after a few months, you know, you have the house. May mga sira. <laughs> after a few months pa lang. You know, the roof has uh, problems. The, the wall, uh, the door, and then yung window, you see may mga accidents sa plumbing, tumutulo yung tubig dyan. Uh, so, you see that there there are problems after a few months. So, what do you do? Diba? Who do you call? Who do you call? If, kayo, if there are problems sa bahay, or you know, sa, sa roof, sa, sa window, sa, sa, um, sa wall, sa door, sa plumbing, who do you call? Who do you call? If I were to ask you, who, who would you call? To help, right? Because maybe you maybe you do it on your own. Maybe you fix it by yourself. But a lot of us, we need to make a So who do we call? Now some some people call you. Mga handyman, right? You mga handyman is what a lot of people call. So, sabi natin si Felix, si Fix It Felix, si Fix It Felix is a handyman. So iba carpenter daw sabi niya. Um, let's see ano ba? Uh, carpenter, uh, carpenter. So, well, in this scenario, we have Felix. See, Felix is a, he's a he's a handyman. He's also he is also a carpenter. And he can he can really fix all of these. All he can fix the roof. He can fix the wall. He can fix the window. He can fix the door. He can fix him plumbing. And then he 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 works on it. And then happy ka, diba? Everything gets fixed. Happy ka, and you pay him, you know, sack of money. You pay him a sack of money. Ayon, pero. After a few months of it, lalabas ulit, dumalabas ulit yung mga sira. So it he fixed it, pero it's not yung parang perfect na fix, di ba? It's not yung perfect na fix. Kasi well, I, I won't tell you why. Spoiler, spoiler, ending ending again. Um after a few months, the the it, it's still it, it got broken again, yung mga things. Okay. So that was scenario A. So scenario B, same thing. You buy a house, yeah. You buy a house, and then after a few months, there are things that, that go wrong with the house, you know. My mom said out it, and then this time though, you don't call, you don't call a, you don't call a, a handyman or a carpenter or a generalist to fix all these problems. They're about to fix all of these different problems. What you do is you call Mike, and let's say see Mike, 
and yung roofer, so special yung specialty niya, diba? And this is the difference here, diba? Si Felix, diba? Parang carpenter siya, handyman, all around. Pero ngayon, you call three different people. Si Mike, may specialization siya sa roof. Roof lang talaga yung, yung focus niya. Si Felix, yeah, he's a carpenter, pero parang handyman. And then also Annie. Si Annie ay isang plumber. Okay. So you call three different people. This is this is the difference here. Okay. This is the difference here. So they do the work. I don't know. You see them working. This is Felix. This is one of skirt si Annie. Nakalimutan ko yung skirt. Sorry. Um, this is Felix. This is um, Mike. This is Addy. Na wala yung skirt niya. And then, wait. and then, yeah. You you have to pay each one of them. So you pay Mike. You pay Annie. I think Annie took because she's skirt chef. That's how you tell if it's a girl because she's skirt chef. Sorry. Um, you know, some stick drawing. Um, you pay Mike, and then you pay Felix. Right? So you have to pay each one of them right? to fix them. And in this scenario, this scenario B, since you paid more specialists, since you hired more specialists, better ang quality ng ng trabaho, better ang quality of work. And then, yung, yung, yung fixes nila, they last for years. Because right? in the first scenario, let me just rewind here. Rewind. In the first scenario, scenario A, Felix did everything. But after a few months, you know, lumalabas ulit yung mga sira. So it wasn't a perfect job. It wasn't a perfect job. Because Felix is a carpenter. And then you had him work on the roof, you had him work on the windows, you had him work on the plumbing. Eh, hindi, naman, hindi naman siya plumber, hindi naman siya roofer, so these problems still came out. Because hindi niya specialty yun. Yes, alam niya. He he knows a little bit about everything. In other words, generalist siya. He knows kind of how to fix everything, pero hindi siya specialist. That's the difference here. Hindi siya specialist. Whereas in scenario B, you got Mike, you got Felix, you got any Mike. Who specializes in roofing? Felix, pang general siya, so, so he does everything else. See Annie, who does the plumbing, and it costs more. Pero yung mga fixes they last years, diba? So uh, I hope you understand this. Yung mga drawings, I hope you understand yung difference here. And and um, ayon sabi ni Net, uh, you understood it. Thank you. Thank. You. How about everyone else? Did you did you understand? Yung, yung mga drawing ko. Okay lang ba? Okay lang ba yung mga drawings ko? I hope, I hope it, they're okay. Um, so, when we look at this scenario, okay, we talked about niche and specialization. We talked about um, ano yung general or generalist. Yung specialist or yung niche is a master of a specific area. Master in one specific segment or one specific area or one specific tinatawag nating niche. Yung generalist is a jack of all trades. They know a little bit about everything. Um, may I'll answer your question actually later. They know a little bit about everything, just like Felix, diba? Right? A little bit of everything. And and who can tell me where Fix It Felix? What what movie does Fix It Felix come from? A star. I'll give you I'll give you a star if you can if you can give me the movie where Fix It Felix comes from. Anyway, you generalist is a jack of all trades. They know a little bit about everything. They know a little bit about everything. Now, for clients, for customers, so in this scenario, you call your homeowner, right? and you're the one who called your contractors to fix your house, or your freelancers. Your contractors, na to, they are actually freelancers because they're their own businesses. We learned that last week. Now, your mga, mga freelancers, they are their own businesses, and they offer services to our customers, services to our clients. And um, these, these, these contractors, they are, yeah, they are freelancers. So, for the clients or for the customers, when they speak to a specialist, like in our example earlier, it's more expensive. It's more expensive when they hire yung mga specialists. Pero it's usually, they usually do a better job because they specialize sila dun. Okay? They specialize. So, let's say si Annie, di ba, plumber in our scenario earlier. Annie was a plumber. She, when she studies about plumbing, plumbing lang talaga. She doesn't have to study about roofing. She doesn't study about carpentry, about electrical. Kasi focus niya is plumbing. So, because she is specialized, because she is focused on plumbing, meaning she can become a master, she can become a specialist, she can be become yung, yung parang higher level when it comes to plumbing only. Pero wala siyang, wala siyang masyadong skills sa electrical and carpentry and roofing. So that's what the special is. They're usually more expensive. 
but they're better in one specific area. Yung generalist, parang they're cheaper, pero okay pa rin. Like, like yung kay Felix, di ba? Okay pa rin. You know, even though he kind of fixed everything, um, even though it, was, it, it kind of wasn't perfect, but it was okay for a few months. So that's the difference here. Okay. Specialists, more expensive, more specific in an area. Um, generalists, they can kind of do everything, and it's still kind of okay. Oh, yeah, wreck it, Ralph. Oh, galing, huh? <laughs> the drawings are fine. Um, Edward, Edward, may Stark Edward, kasi ikaw yung una. Ikaw yung unang naka guess, or <laughs> I like your comment here. You're the first one who mentioned Wreck It Ralph. It's from Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph 2 is coming out soon. Hindi ako sponsored sa Disney, but if Disney wants to send us sponsorship, um, we, won't, we won't say no. Okay. So that's the difference between a specialist and a generalist. So this is for the clients and customers. Okay. Now, for freelancers, if ikaw ang isang, ay isang freelancer, and everyone watching here either is a freelancer or wants to become a freelancer, diba? that's why you're watching this. So for freelancers, what's the difference between a specialist and a generalist? If you want to be a specialist, okay, if you want to be a specialist, if you choose to specialize, it pays better. You can earn more in general. In, in, in most cases, you can earn more but it's harder to become a specialist because you have to really master one specific skill or one or two specific skills to become a specialist. But you can earn more. Okay, that's the difference here. Um, if you, if you want to be a generalist, it pays less. You earn less, but it's easier for you to do. It's easier for you to do these jobs. I mean, lag ba? May issue ba sa lag? Ay, nako. I hope my internet's okay. Uh, okay naman yung report ko. I hope it's fine. Um, kasi may nag-lag. Um, yes, you can watch this tomorrow. Eesh, nag-lag. Uh, no, no. Hello, um, is it okay, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Okay ba? Is it okay? Lag pa rin sa akin, be it on cell or laptop. Yikes. Okay naman po. Oh, so, for others, it's lagging. For others, it's not. It might be... Um, I just like okay okay so it's not my it's not my problem because because if it was my if it was my connection everyone would be lagging pero sa iba naglalag sa iba hindi so for those that it's lagging for baka yung connection no you can watch a replay naman tomorrow or later after thank you thank you okay I was worried there um, but thank you guys for for responding okay sige sige so what questions do you have let me know what questions you have let me just look at the comments here so we talked about general etong niche we talked about Yung going um, general, we talked about yung specific. So, what questions do you have at this point? Okay, very clear, very clear. Thank you, thank you. No lagging. Okay, good, good. Oh. So, again, breaking one of our questions. Okay. Uh, oh, all the way from Germany. Wow, wow. Um, ten long hours in difference. Six hours, seven hours in difference. Nice. Okay, um, parang walang questions, no? Okay, okay, yeah, refresh lang. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you for letting me know. Sige, clear, clear. No questions, no questions. Generalist is better for starters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's actually my, my next slide. Like, which, which do you go for? So, while you're, while you're posting your questions, I'm gonna ask you, ikaw, you, you're, most of you guys watching are beginners, right? Because these topics are usually for beginner na freelancers. Um, either hindi pa nagsimula or just starting, parang a few months in pa lang. So, ikaw, you who, who, who's watching right now, everyone who's watching right now, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a generalist? Because you have a choice. Would you like to be a, a generalist or a specialist as a beginner? Would you like to um, you know, generalist, which is easier to do, and then parang better you earn less? Or would you like to specialize agad na parang it's harder, it's harder, pero you earn more. Okay, let's see. Six hours behind. Nice. You know how to catch a first client. We'll talk about that next week, actually. We'll talk about that next week. Which one, which one's for you? You prefer, for, prefer to be a specialist. Okay. Yeah, how to, how to get a client, we'll talk about that next week. Specialist. Okay, ba maging niche ang WordPress kasi may basic knowledge ako ng HTML. Yes, if, if you have basic knowledge in HTML and WordPress, uh, madali lang yung WordPress sa'yo. 
need po ba ng website? Oh, well, we can answer this next week, but short answer is no. Specialist sana. Um, bookkeeping, yes. It's considered a specialist. It is considered a specialist. Um, si Feb, I prefer to start as a generalist before I jump to being a specialist. Si Claire, gusto niya mag-specialist. Si Brian, gusto mag-specialist. Si Fran, generalist for starter. And then later, to be a specialist. Si Roland, generalist first. And then discover your niche, your specialization. Um, Helen, you want to be a specialist. Louis, specialist. Sige. So, how do you generalist and specialist ask for sometimes? Sabi ni Al. Okay. So, ang dami yung gusto mag-specialist. Diba? Kasi, why? Diba? You earn more as a specialist, right? And we do want to earn more money. But, but it's harder to start, right? Like we mentioned, it's harder to to get into being a specialist. And somebody asked earlier, which one is better? Well, it really depends on you. But our recommendation, our recommendation is a VA bootcamp. And my personal recommendation is to start, is to go from a, uh, on a journey. Okay? Go on a journey from being a generalist. And then on this journey, you can transition. Okay? You can transition to being a specialist. Okay? You can transition to being a specialist. So you, uh, my recommendation is to go on what we call a journey. So first of all, what I would say is you learn the general basic skills. One to three, it, and this takes mga one to three months. Okay? This takes mga one to three months for you to learn the general basic skills. Number two is my recommendation, and this is what we teach to bootcamp, is you get jobs in mga different general areas and then get mga experience muna. Experience mo muna. Third is based on your experience, uh, choose a skill to learn more about and specialize in that area. So dito pa, ha, in step three pa yung choosing a skill. And then four, you became a, become a master in the skill you choose. And that's when you can charge a lot. So, so okay, why? Why do I recommend this? Yung PLDT may issue lately, no? Parang ilang weeks na. Or more than one month may issue yung PLDT. Um, why do I recommend this? Okay. Because when you're first starting out, you don't know what you're good at. Okay. And somebody asked earlier, I forgot who asked earlier, parang, um, how do you choose a niche or how do you choose a specialization? Okay. Um, inventory management, it can be a niche, by the way. Yes. Um, so how do you choose a specialization? Well, based here, diba? When, when you start off, you don't know what you're good at kasi. You don't know kung saan ka magaling. You don't know kung saan ka masaya. Diba? Just like when, you're, when you go to school. Diba? When you go to school, uh, we start off elementary, we start high school. And yung elementary and high school, usually mga general yun, even yung first year college and even yung second year college, is usually general yung tinaturo dun. Wala pang mga specialization. Wala pang mga specifics. That's why... In elementary and high school, and even let's say first year college, almost the oh, well, actually the same elementary and high school, you learn the same thing in, in most schools. You learn the same thing English, biology, math, you know, chemistry, and, and yung ibang subjects boring, yung ibang subjects you find interest in. Because, why, and why is the school system like that? Why is the school system like that? Because, number one, you need to learn general skills muna. Diba paano naman if, if you, if you, let's say you become um, an English teacher. Diba? Pero hindi ka marunong mag-math. You don't know how to do addition. You don't know how to do subtraction. So itong mga general, yung mga basic skills, you have to learn them muna. And then you won't know that may passion ka maging English teacher if you never went, you never tested the different areas first. You never tested these different these different subjects. So that's why I recommend that you start off as a generalist. Number one, because you learn yung mga basic skills in different ibang areas. And number two, because usually, ha, yung iba dito, like there's this guy uh, who said he knows HTML and CSS already. So yes, you can start as a WordPress because you experience. Kana na experience manang HTML and CSS. Pero for most people, na wala pang experience in these different areas. Hindi mo masasabi na, okay, I can become a web designer. Okay, I can become an SEO. Okay, I can become a bookkeeper. I can become a copywriter. Kasi hindi mo pa natikman yung iba't ibang areas. Just like with, um, I always use yung ice cream na ano, yung ice cream na analogy. Na how do you know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is? If hindi mo tikman yung iba't ibang flavors. You won't know chocolate, vanilla, ube, mango. 
um, Rocky Road, uh, right? you won't know yet until you try these different flavors. Same thing in niche. You don't know, number one, what you're good at, kung saan ka magaling. Number two, saan ka masaya, what you will enjoy. And number three, what will make you money. Those are the three things that I say will help you choose your niche. Okay, so I hope you understand <laughs> what I'm saying. PLDT, grabe ang, ano, grabe ang issue sa PLDT, no? So that's that's why I recommend be a generalist first. Because yeah, you have to learn the basic skills and you you have to taste the different areas muna. That's why I say get jobs in different general areas and experience them first. Because once you experience them, you say, "Hala, magaling, hala, parang sa, hala magaling pala ako mag graphic design. I I never knew that. Magaling ko pala mag Canva, and then that's when you can start nurturing that skill. And then that's when you can specialize. But you have to test it first. You have to test these different areas first. Let me look at these uh, comments here. Journalist versus specialist. Yes, generalist. You'll discover your real niche from being a generalist. Yes. Um, generalist first. Generalist first. Generalist. Uh, Luzon area, yung PLDT siya smart. Yeah, there is a problem. Uh, that's why I recommend taking the accelerated, yung sa bootcamp. Kasi we have two programs, yung accelerated, check complete. We always recommend take accelerated first if you're a newbie. Kasi that's yung generalist. It's just like studying medicine. Before you become a specialist, you need to start from zero, and then pass licensure exam, then review again for specialization. Exactly, exactly. Hindi ko naisip yung medicine. Next time, gamitin ko yung medicine example. As a newbie, how can you know your niche? And I think we answered this here. If tired as a specialist, okay, good question, Jocelyn. If tired as a specialist mo currently and want to try out new generalist muna para makapagsimula ka sa as a new a new freelancer, possible din ba? Yes, possible. What's really nice about freelancing is you can do whatever you want. You can really do whatever you want. You want to learn how to do graphic design, pwede. You want to learn how to do web design, pwede. You want to learn how to become a writer, how to do bookkeeping, pwede. If if you're tired of your niche. You're a specialist right now. I think Jocelyn, she's a specialist in one specific area right now, pero hindi na siya masaya na sa area na yun. And if it's not making you happy, nakakapagod mong trabaho, di ba? If you're working and then parang you don't like it. So, what I, yes, I would recommend, parang you go generalist muna. Maybe you want to become a virtual assistant muna and become a generalist. And then try these different areas and see, hello, you, you might find something that makes you happy. Recorded naman to, but um, we'll take this down on Monday morning. And we only keep this for the weekends. Um, till kailan yung pagdadaan? Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. Kailan pagdadaan? Hanggang kailan? Mayang gabi eh. Oy, mayang gabi eh. Yes. Uh, PLDT, PLDT din. Parang ang hirap ato na kasi halos lahat ng clients gusto meron lahat ng skills na ng skills sa VA. Um, well, well, yung skills sa VA, there are a lot of skills. Diba? There are a lot of different skills. But you can learn them. Um, there are mga basic and you can learn them. PLDT, yeah. Ang dami na kaklamo sa PLDT. Uh, yes, we can watch this again. Uh, we'll take this down on Monday morning. Okay? Do lagi. Watch it tomorrow, PLDT. <laughs> yeah, pwede bukas mag attendance. Wow, grab and daming issues of PLDT. Uh, first session, uh, specialist. I'm looking for questions here. And <laughs> Puro reklamo sa PLDT yung mga comments dito. Are we still consider attendees if we stop watching because of tech problems? Yes, you can. Um, until You have until Sunday to watch this. Okay, you have until Sunday to watch this. Yes, uh, net. Is it possible that we can have client, even basic generalist? Yes, even if you're a generalist, you can get a client. It's not a problem if generalist ka. Hindi totoo yun na na if generalist ka hindi ka maka-client. Um, sa mga students of VA bootcamp, okay, we have hundreds of students that when they graduate, generalist generalist muna sila. Because this is the path that we recommend. Ito what you see on the screen right now over here is the path that we re- recommend. So, and and it's proven. It's it's people have gotten hired with this. Uh, as a journalist, is it, is it, it is like an exposure on different areas and discover where you're good and what you enjoy doing. Exactly. Um, you can, can somebody comment? Uh, you have until Sunday. Can somebody comment here? Because I'm, I'm, I can't really type. Malayo yung keyboard. You have, basta you have until Sunday. Uh, somebody comment that, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm actually on Globe then. And like 100 Mbps across the globe. Can't hear anything. Maybe play. Grabe puro. 
lahat ng comments puro puro complain about sa PLDT. Babasa natin yung thread sa PLDT para may alam natin sila. Um, an excited with this experience for more than 10 years po. Is it okay to be a generalist first? Yes, I, I would recommend being a generalist kind for like three to six months. Okay? Um, to answer Lizette's question, kind for three to six months, you're a generalist muna. Ang sayang lang dito is yung mga questions nyo. Because uh, it's hard to answer them if hindi na live. Yes, pero three to six months, be a generalist muna, and then you can follow this path. Ayun, follow this path here, and then you can choose what skill to specialize. What skill to specialize in? Okay, okay. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for commenting that. Okay, so see. Moving on. We're moving on to the different skills, different skills that you can offer. Hmm. So, what are these different skills that you can offer? We talked about. I'm a generalist, we talk about being specialist. So what are the skills that you can offer that are in demand advanced freelancing? So what skills? Okay, what skills will you offer to clients? We have yung general skills. We talked about a generalist, diba? And yung path na recommended namin is yung first few months, at least mga three to six months, you're a generalist muna. Uy, may fire alarm. Hopefully you will have fire. Usually may false alarm dito. Anyway, um, first three to six months, yung mga skills na tinuturo sa, yung mga skills that we teach sa bootcamp, these are the general, sa accelerated VA bootcamp, these are the general skills, okay? So, we teach, these are the skills we teach, and this is what we recommend. So, even if you don't enroll sa bootcamp, kasi may bayad yung bootcamp, diba, it's 7990 or 2990 uh, to start, not everyone can afford it, you can study on your own, itong skills na to, okay? So, so if you're taking notes, maybe you want to take notes of these. Uh, data entry, first and foremost. Because it's easy in data entry. Very easy to do. Um, second is transcription. You can do transcription um, when you listen to audio and transcribe. Uh, third, you can do email and calendar management. Can calendar management. So you learn about yung mga Gmail, yung mga Yahoo, you learn about yung mga um, Google Calendar, yung mga yun. So we recommend that you learn these skills. Yung mga office, office applications. Um, like Google Docs, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. Because right now, yung mga Google Docs is getting because it's free shot compared to Microsoft Office. Nami buy it na parang five dollars per month, something like that, five or ten dollars per month. So a lot of businesses they're using Google Google Little Docs, which is free. You also learn Microsoft, of course, but you recommendations to learn mga Google Office applications, and then learn how to do internet research. Uh, may mga tricks sa Google that you can learn to do better research in hindi lang Google but other areas, other search engines, other um, areas as well that you can learn to do internet research. Um, and we recommend doing learning social media and website management. Okay, learning social media and website management. So learning how to properly post and schedule posts on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, website management, especially yung WordPress management. Somebody asked earlier about WordPress. We recommend yung website management. Um, when you when we talk about website management, most of the time this is WordPress. And lastly, we also recommend learning e-commerce store management. So yung mga Shopify, especially Shopify, kasi uso uso ngayon yung Shopify. Shopify pwede din WooCommerce. Sige, ino muna. Okay, so these are exactly so many people ask, what do you teach in the VA Bootcamp? This is what's covered in the VA Bootcamp Accelerated. Pero even if you don't enroll, once again, even if you don't enroll, these are the skills that we recommend that you study. Okay, But if you want, of course, yung mga guided, yung sobrang step-by-step, -step, we teach it in the Bootcamp and you can enroll there. Okay. Um, and somebody asked, like, um, how... How much can you charge? But we, this is actually part of the coverage, but we'll, we'll have slide with this. How much can you charge as a generalist? Okay. So generalists usually charge between three and eight dollars per hour. What we recommend to our students at bootcamp, because once they learn everything, we recommend five dollars per hour as parang new starting point. Um, once they finish learning all the skills, pero some people. They start with three dollars. Some people all go all the way to eight dollars. Many students, many mga students come in and start like eight or even ten dollars. But we recommend five dollars muna, five dollars per hour as a generalist. And then when you can become a specialist, because level up, you upgrading a specialist, diba? So that's when you can charge ten dollars per hour, fifteen, twenty dollars per hour. That's a lot of money. Actually, that is a, a lot of money. But that's what we recommend. Okay, start at five dollars per hour as a generalist. 
as a generalist. You can start at $3 per hour or whatever you want, but recommendation I mean, for our students is $5 per hour. Once you specialize, that's when we recommend going to $10. So double, right? It's like double your rate. Because you're ka specialized and you're mastering a specific area. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, kung generalist, po, um, ano ba ang mataas na hourly rate? Yeah, five. So once again, recommendation $5. Some can go all the way to 8 Uh I will watch replay laggers can understand a thing. Um, Stephanie, connection ba or is it the discussion that you can't understand? Because I want you to understand the discussion. Data entry is what, yeah, data entry is a good place to start. Na po. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are gonna have to watch the watch the replay. Don't um, Studying Google Calendar, good, good. Um, in your replay for part one, we took it down actually. Um, on Monday morning, but I will do this. We'll do these sessions again in January. Di po maintindihan. Tungo dahil sa ano? Dahil sa connection. Tungo sa connection. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. But at least we can watch till Sunday with attendance. Yes, until Sunday. Oh, still counted. Yes, still counted. Um, Uh, Mirabella, uh, why is it I was three times approved in Upwork? I just use general skills. They say there are a lot of skill set. That's why they don't approve me. Um, we'll talk about this uh, week. Actually, it's a week three. Next week, we'll talk about profiles. Um, so we're going to cover that a little bit as well. Uh, may, may advisory pang PLDD. Thanks, Dave. Super lag. Uh, Nakabayad <laughs> Pro reclamo sa PLDT. Uh, ask ko lang regarding e-commerce store management. Is this re is this regarding on inquiry specifications, payment and delivery? Can you elaborate on this? How is this going on? Okay, good question. Um, I'm actually going next week. I'm going to release a free course about yung um, about e-commerce. So this will be covered. Uh, so stay tuned. If you're on the email list. I'll release it to email list, and if you're in Flip, yung Facebook group, I'm gonna announce it there as well. So stay tuned. Um, I'm working on it. So next week, lalabas na yung free course about it. But um, it's you. It it covers yung yung e-commerce store management covers yung getting a store online, getting listings, getting yung doing product research, um, and then managing yung inventory, managing yung stocks. So, parang inventory management. But if, if you're in a real store, make inventory management, making sure na yung mga orders tama, making sure that they can be shipped to the customers and so on. So, um, but yes, I'll, I'll go more into detail this in the free course which I'm releasing next week. So take note, um, just stay tuned for that. And it's also taught in the, the bootcamp. Um, Sir Jason, I was going to be able to answer your question last week para nakatanda ako. Pero nakatanda ako ng three webinars. Um, We'll see. We want to be strict about this. Parang you can attend live. Need ba talaga na may backup PC? Hindi naman need, pero you have at least one PC. Um, and then you backup, parang internet cafe, yun lang yung backup mo. Um, 10 best uh, best app to do research. 10 best tools. Um, we can create, I can't do it right now, but we can create parang a guide for that. Uh, I'll have to, can somebody from the team um, Save that comment, yung kay Marisa. 10 best tools to do research used by freelancers. The offer discount. Uh, send me an email. Uh, okay, na ba yung backup na broadband stick? Yes. Shh, shh, shh. Can't play from Canada. I'm specialist in social media management. How much should be the cost per hour? Depends on you, depends how good you are, depends how much experience you have. But I would say um, at least $8 an hour. At least $8 an hour. Okay, uh, how to be added po sa email list para sa mga updates. Um, if you uh, submit the attendance sheet, we'll add you to the email list then. Okay, if you submit the attendance sheet para you'll, you'll get the updates. Kasama po ba sa starter yung free e-commerce? Um, wala na pong starter. Kasama siya sa accelerated yung e-commerce course. Okay, okay. So moving on. Para, para most of the comments are about PLDD. Um, but yeah, we'll move on. Sorry guys if you're with PLDT uh, and in Luzon, because the mga Visayas seems okay. Naman. Visayas seems okay and, and, and um, Mindanao. <laughs> okay, so ito yung general skills that we recommend that you start off with. 
So even if you're starting off and even if you plan to choose a specific area, a specific niche, this is what I recommend. This is what we recommend you start off. And once again, we teach this at Bootcamp Accelerated. Okay, the specialized or niche skills that are very common, there are so many different skills, but these are the most common ones. Search engine optimization, web design, Facebook and Google ads, email copywriting, gra blog writing, graphic design, wait, illustration, programming, bookkeeping, and many more. Or these are what we, if you, and, and you don't have to learn all of these, diba? Grab naman if you learn all of these, parang nakaka overwhelm. Just choose one of these. So, yeah, start off with these skills. Okay, that's that's our recommendation. Start off with these skills. And once you get some experience, you're gonna get experience in these different areas. Parang pa onte onte lang. Then I recommend you, once you find what you're good at, you find what you enjoy, you find what you can make money with, and you, 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 test out these different skills, that's when you can choose a specific niche, a specific specialization. Now, you just focus on that. So if you learn web design, you don't need to learn the other things. Maybe you learn a little bit about SEO and then Facebook and Google Ads, but you don't have to learn the bookkeeping, the blog writing. Because it's not overwhelmed. Don't try to be a master at everything. Okay? You cannot be a master at everything. Just choose one specific area once um, you will specialize. Um, attendance sheet will be at the end of the session. Okay, attendance sheet. You'll be able to attend it. Get it at the end of the session. Para hindi naman kayo, you know, at the start of the session, you can just fill in the attendance sheet tapos wala na kayo. You have to get it at the end of the session. All right. So, next. So, what if hindi ka teki? What if, what if you're like this guy na nakatingin in his computer and then it starts burning na, diba? Um, well, if sabihin mo na hindi ka teki, you're here right now. You're attending this live, this Facebook live webinar right now. You're commenting here. So, you're, and you're on, you can go on different websites. So, at, you know how to use a cell phone or computer. You know how to comment on websites. You know how to go on different websites. So, hindi mo pwede sabihin na you know nothing about computers. Okay? You know you know about computers, kahit konti lang, kahit konti lang. and that's a good foundation to start learning mga general skills. Even if you're not very good, you're here. And that's a starting point. Okay. Kasi we get a lot of people asking na, oh, hindi ako techie, paano naman to? I can't get started, I can't go into freelancing. You are here, you are watching this, you're commenting, you're on Facebook. Yung hindi techie talaga, they, can't, they don't even know how to go on Facebook, they don't know how to write emails, they don't know how to comment. You're here, you're watching this, you're commenting, you can write emails, most of you can anyway. So, may starting point ka. This is a good foundation for you to start learning mga general skills. Mga, parang yung level up sa'yo is mga general skills. And later yung specialized skills. Wag mo mo lang isipin yung mga special skills, yung mga, yung mga, ito. Kasi if you start thinking about them right now, nakaka overwhelm and it's very scary. If you're, if you don't feel that confident yet, start ka muna sa basic the general skills, wag mong isipin yung specialized skills. And even if you never specialize, yung ibang, ibang freelancers, they spend years, they never specialize, kasi masaya na sila. They earn, what, $5 per hour? What's $5 per hour? 200, mga 250 pesos per hour times 8 hours a day, that's 2,000 pesos a day. If you work 20, 20 days a month, that's 40,000 pesos. Masaya na sila dun. And, but others, they want to specialize. Others, parang masaya na sa 40,000 a month, or 30, 40, 50,000 a month. They don't specialize now. Others, um, that's when they specialize. Attendance sheet is after the session. Okay, attendance sheet is after the session. Okay. Um, yes, project management is considered a specialization. Uh, one year bago ako nag si Brian nga, diba? Um, he spent one year doing general stuff before, siya na, before he chose a niche. Okay? Um, so, because he, he wanted to test out these different sections first, these different kinds of skills first. And I started as a generalist. I, I spent mga three months, siguro, um, three or four months, general muna, before I went into web design. Is it okay? Now we have a specialized skill, skill but interested to do the generalized skills. Um, well, parang if, if you're offering a specific skill with general skills, I wouldn't recommend that. Because you're not a na specialist. Parang you're you're just a generalist in that case, and you can't charge higher rates. So if specialist ka, you should really be a specialist. If generalist ka, you should really be a generalist. You can't be a specialist, na generalist din. 
Because if you're a specialist with generalist, then special the generalist, yeah, you're not a specialist. Specialist is you focus. So I've been enjoying me. This is this is you when you started the module. Um, Ask ko lang sir finance and admin assistant about voucher and check preparation. Okay ako Excel. Ano fit sa akin? Yep, VA ka muna. VA ka muna, Cherry. Uh, maybe you'll see this in the replay if you're if lag right now. Pero VA ka muna. Um, and then eventually you can if you if you want to specialize, pwede ka specialize sa Excel. If you know mga pivot tables, mga macros and stuff, you can specialize sa Excel. Can a 65-year-old become a VA? Yes. Yes. Um, interest po mag VA yung lola ko, but she is scared. Walang discrimination sa age, uh, Natasha. Walang discrimination sa age yung freelancing. As long as magagawa mo yung trabaho, walang discrimination. And clients, when you do the work, they don't even see you. you know, as long as you submit the work, as long as you do the work, walas lang pakialam um, how old or how young you are. Um, we have yung, we have, I don't, I'm not sure how much our, how much, or how old our oldest student is a boot camp, but we have you mga 60 plus year olds who graduated and are able to get hired. Um, and we have, uh, I think the youngest graduate namin who graduated at 18 sa boot camp and he was able to get hired. So walang pakialam yung clients, how young or how old you are. Uh, one oh, specialist is like a major in one subject. Yep, yep. Uh, where can I learn basic Excel to be a VA? Um, we teach you basic office applications sa, sa bootcamp, but there are so many other areas where you can learn Excel as well. Uh, Regina, can I do this even if I'm employed? Yes. Yung ginawa ko at first, right, because I right now, um, freelancing and business na ako, right? Hindi na ako nag-work sa corporate. Pero dati, uh, mga 2011, nasa corporate pa ako, I started doing this sa weekends and after work, after shift muna before I earned enough para makapag-resign ako. So you can do that as well. Okay, okay. Um, moving on. So yeah, if you are not a techie, once again, we recommend that you learn these skills, these skills here, which are taught in the bootcamp as well, if you want to enroll in the bootcamp. Hindi kami mag reklamo Okay. <laughs> anyway, our next topic for today, our next topic for today is um, about the portfolio, is about yung, yung portfolio. Ano ba tong portfolio na to? Wala na finish. Ano ba tong portfolio na to? Okay, so when we talk about portfolio, a portfolio is very important for you to get hired. Okay, it is very important because a portfolio is a sample of the work, of your work to prove that you have the skills to do the job. So why is this important? And uh, I'm going to discuss back in my, my picture dito. Dapat you shouldn't see that yet, but I'm going to discuss that. So why, why is that important? Because Ang, ang, it's very easy to say na, oh, pwede ko yun gawin, di ba? I can do that for you, sir. Walang problema dyan. Oh, pwede kong gawin yan, lahat. But, anong proof? Di ba? What is the proof that you can actually do the job? Especially online, wala pang, walang, usually, walang, di ba? Usually, when you apply for a job, may interview, may mga test, may mga ganun. But online, it's very important to have a portfolio kasi you don't, you don't I mean, may, may mga interviews naman, pero it's not in person. Iba pa rin. It's very important for you to have a portfolio. Number one, because you want to prove to the companies and to the clients na pwede mo gawin yung trabaho. And number two, it will help you stand out compared to competition. Remember, when you're applying for a job online, hindi ka nag-iisa. There are other people applying for the same job. So a portfolio is one way for you to stand out. And for, kasi if wala kang portfolio, wala kang ipakita sa client, the client's gonna think, well, I'm just gonna ignore this application. Kasi wala naman siya na sa akin. But if you have a portfolio, then you can show them that you know how to do the job. So why do I have a picture of a couple here getting married? Okay, um, Or a married couple. Married na pala sila kasi nakagawa na yung, yung wife, um, yung bride. Well, when, when we're talking about weddings, uh, one of the big things when, when you're preparing to, get we preparing to get married is yung wedding photographer. Right, you're a wedding photographer. And when you, if you're looking for a wedding photographer, for those of you who have thought of getting married or who have gotten married, na parang may ceremony, ganun, when you think about getting a wedding photographer, number one thing you look at is yung portfolio, yung sample, yung past work niya. Very, very important. Same with freelancing. You have to be able to show something to the client. 
Okay, so so for example, diba, when when you're looking for wedding photographer, you look at their samples, they got the pictures, diba? So do you choose this photographer or do you choose this photographer? Do you choose this photographer? Or do you choose this photographer? Diba? Or you choose itong photographer na the flowers are in the bride's face. And so this is my favorite kasi parang may, ano, may photo bomber. Um, but diba, when we're choosing, kasi you, you don't know, if you don't look at the portfolio, if, ikaw, if you're planning to get married, you don't, and, and you're looking at wedding photographers, if you don't look at their portfolio, you don't know if the pictures are going to be yung nasa taas, the one in the here, or if it's going to be the one that may photo bomber. Okay, you won't know that. Same thing when we're trying to apply for companies, when we're, we're applying for jobs online. You have to show a portfolio para may, ma- may pakita ka sa client that you know how to do the job. That you know how to do the job. Okay? Um, so, a lot of people think, well, wala naman akong experience. Newbie pa lang ako. How can I have a portfolio? How can I have a portfolio even if newbie ako? Well, the answer to that question is, well, ang git na ano, this is a portfolio. Create your own portfolio. Even if you don't have experience yet, you should create your own portfolio. And we teach this at Bootcamp. We give specific examples to do this at Bootcamp. But even if, once again, even if you don't enroll, you should create your own portfolio. If student ka sa Bootcamp, you should already know how to do this. Every single assignment and every single module, you should have over 10 portfolio items because we tell you to take the screenshots of every single thing you do, some assignments, and add them to por- your portfolio. So if you're a student at Bootcamp, wala kang excuse if you don't have a portfolio. Yeah. We see some students na hindi sila na hire and we look at their profile, ah, wala ka portfolio, nasa assignment yun. Anyway, if you, you should create your own portfolio. So how do you do this? Even if wala ka pang experience, if newbie, newbie ka pa lang, how do you get a portfolio? You can create your own portfolio. So, if, for example, so wedding photographer, even if wala ka pang wedding na shoot, you can stage a wedding. Parang even if it's not a real wedding, you can still, you can, maybe you, you, you have one of your friends rent a gown and then, you know, a tuxedo and then parang, parang totoong wedding, you're still taking pictures, parang you'll have a portfolio so that when potential clients look at your pictures you can check these are this is the, these are the kind of pictures that I can take and even if you ask your friends na parang you just rent one gown and then or, and then ask different friends so ibat ibang babae ibat ibang groom na you, you just you just swap the clothes parang ganun. you can do that diba? you can do that um, and it's not you're not lying diba? because you're showing them what kind of pictures you can take and that's what's important that's what they're looking for the the client won't care if it's a wedding or not, not really, but they will care na what kind of shots, may, may framing, ganun, what kind of shots you can take. Same thing sa freelancing. Same thing sa online freelancing. If you plan to be a web designer, create websites. Even if companies na, your, your own companies, create your own website. Create websites for companies that don't even exist. Um, if you're a writer, write sample articles. If you're a generalist, and you want to show na you know how to do email management, you know how to do transcription, create samples of you doing email management. Take a screenshot of that. Save that as your portfolio. Show it to clients. Um, if you create sample na um, transcription and then show it to clients. So create your own portfolio. If you are a newbie, you're not getting hired, create your own portfolio, okay? Uh, and I'm looking at the comments here. Um, yeah, thank you, Dave, for 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 commenting that. Pro uh, pro in comments. Um, if you're enrolled in a bootcamp, ni Sir Jason, uh, you will be asked to submit assignments. You will be asked to create assignments and save assignments, which will serve as your portfolio in the future. Pag mag apply ka na. That's that's kind of what the assignments are for. To practice your skills and to save portfolio items. So parang we you have I think. At ten, at least ten. I'm, I don't know the exact number, but you have at least ten, ten activities sa boot camp to show that you, to add to your portfolio, and um, you will have activities in each of these areas. In each of these areas, somebody is asking this. Uh, parang when may mga graduates, ano yung mga portfolio items nila? In each of these areas, you will be able to have different portfolio items 
in all of these areas because that's part of the activities sa boot camps, yung mga, yung mga graduates. Um, okay, where were we? Okay, uh, questions? Um, still going wrong with... Uh, <clears throat> drink water. Huh. Okay, we're almost done. Working on my, on my portfolio on on VA Bootcamp <laughs> while watching, wow, multitasking. Uh, okay, okay, switch off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then on your modem. Okay. Uh, Nakhangang video, pero mag attendance pa rin ako. Free modeling with friends. Oh, so yan. Oh, ngayon, actually, free modeling. Um, basta may friend na may DSLR. Wala lang. Uh, 73% to enroll sa bootcamp or not. Guides about the portfolio things are badly. Yes. Um, it's one of the things we, we really push the students to do. Yung mga students that enroll, create the portfolio. It's in every single module. Very good tips. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you were able to get some value out of this. What is the time frame? Um, I can finish if I enroll. Marie Corps, you have one year to take the accelerated course. Okay? If you enroll, you have one year to take it. Grab it if you can't finish it in one. If you don't finish it in one year, um, procrastination. So you made deadline, I have to finish it in one year. Or else, mag enroll called it. Uh, May three payments, yung bootcamp, Claire Mars. Um, South paced job, but you should finish it in one year. Some people finish it in one week. Huh? Hope you can share a sample portfolio. Kahit send lang po sa email. Um, Lilet, are you enrolled? Kasi andun yun. Um, I'm not sure if I, we have mga samples. Uh, we can create a blog post siguro about it so that you can see it. Uh, pag nag-enroll sa VA Bootcamp, automatic kasama yun yung generalist module. Yes. Ito lahat. Uh, where is that? Ito lahat. Kasama sa, sa VA Bootcamp Accelerated. Um, how much to enroll? Check it out on the website because I have different plans. Thank you for the wonderful review. You're very welcome. It's a minute long attendance sheet. Uh, you have until Sunday to watch the attendance. Okay. Whew. Okay, almost done. <laughs> I'm get, actually getting tired. <laughs> okay, here. Okay, so next week. I am na actually the main discussion. But next week, next week, we're going to talk about how to get your first client even without experience. So we talked about, today we talked about you niche, yung generalist, yung iba't ibang skills. We covered um, even yung, how to, yung, mga, yung mga rates. We covered um, yung portfolio items. Now, how to get your next week, how to get your first client even without experience. So we'll talk about where you can find online jobs, different websites where you can find online jobs. We'll answer the question, is it really getting competitive online? Um, we'll talk about how you can create a profile that stands out para, para you'll get hired by the client compared to other freelancers. We'll talk about how you can write a cover letter and you more common mistakes when, write, when writing a cover letter. All right, um, just some reminders for you. If you're not part of our Facebook group yet, please join. We have a very supportive, very friendly Facebook group over here. It's called Freelancers in the Philippines um, and may link to fb.com. I'm not sure if you can, I think you can see it. If you full screen your video, fb.com slash groups slash flip PH. But if you can't, um, just search Freelancers in the Philippines and my name by Jason Dulai. You'll be able to see that there. As a reminder, you know, we can only discuss yung mga highlights in these webinars. If you want yung step-by-step -step and yung guided instructions, um, check out our VA Bootcamp. Um, our VA Bootcamp, we have hundreds of, of members who were able to find jobs after graduating the VA Bootcamp. And, and if, if you enroll, you learn the skills that you need to learn. You have a community to support you on your journey. You have guides, you have your questions answered, your portfolio mo, kasama na dun. And you even have coaching na kasama after you graduate, which is in our hustle challenge. If you want to enroll, check out vabootcamp.ph. And dun yung lahat ng details, including yung makano and everything there. So this is what's covered in the VA Bootcamp. And you'll get this also on the when you visit vabootcamp.ph okay um, also as a reminder if you're planning to become a freelancer um, i recommend signing up for a paypal account to start getting paid okay uh, most freelance platforms support gateways but your most preferred most accepted internationally is paypal you can also do local funds transfer but when you're working with foreign clients PayPal is the preferred method, the most trusted. Of course, there are other methods, but, then, but PayPal is most trusted. And they're actually our sponsor for today. So thank you, PayPal, for sponsoring. You can, you can sign up in paypal.com. You'll get international transfers. Um, you can ask your clients to send you money so you can get paid. 
So even if wala ka pang trabaho, if wala ka pang experience, it's free to sign up for a PayPal account. So I highly recommend it. Um, by the way, uh, you know this is pang yung sales pitch part of the of the webinar. Ah, ito mo na. But we really highly recommend Yung Bootcamp because we've seen so many, so much success. Um, and this is where we can really guide you step by step and we can really coach you. Right? Uh, we can't coach, we have actually over 50,000 people in our mailing list. We can't coach every one of them. We don't have the time for that. We really, don't have the manpower for that. But um, for those that enroll, we do provide you step by step guidance and new coaching. If, if, even if you don't enroll though, you can still get to our free webinars, our free courses, our free blog posts, marami kaming resources now which are for free. But uh, here are some testimonials from Brian, like a thumbs up pa. Um, sobra sobrang naitulong sa VA Bootcamp sa akin. It's more than just about learning the technical aspects of being a virtual assistant. It's also about practical applications in the real freelancing world. From having a $5 rate, di ba sinabi ko kanina, you, we start with $5 per hour. When I started, to experience having clients at $17 per hour, hanggang $17, that's a lot of money. Um, the VA Bootcamp is my best investment. Thank you so much, Brian, for that testimonial. Sabi ni AJ Madrid, ang ganda ni AJ, no? Um, the VA Bootcamp is worth buying. For newbies, this course will help you save so much time because all the steps that you need to know about freelancing is discussed here. Rather than learn, parang rather than going through YouTube videos and learning on your own, it's it's shortcut. Very shortcut na method. Um, oh, ah, ah, ano nangyari? Oh no, what happened to the slides? And also, this course was my stepping stone to achieve 100,000 peso per month earnings. Okay, so that's uh, that's a very big goal. Um, AJ was able to do it with the help of the VA bootcamp, but of course, she had to work hard to get there. Okay, hindi naman once you graduate 100,000 a month, agada. It takes hard work then, but the bootcamp's there to help you and to show you what you need to do. Okay. Um, so don't forget, oh, mali yung ano, why is this, why didn't this change? Okay. Um, wait lang ha, I'll, I'll give you the correct attendance sheet. This isn't it, sheet two. Okay. This is the, this is, uh, edit ko lang yung, yung text here. Okay, um, so this is the attendance sheet. Don't forget to fill in the attendance sheet. It's over at vabootcamp.ph slash sheet two slash sheet two um scary appearance with paper lost money um hmm. can you we want more details about that um because you can get your money you can we can recover there's protection because that's, that's a paypal uh yeah let, let us know if you have a blog post about that i'm pogging brian wow <laughs> go ads uh okay so yeah this is the attendance sheet Tama no? Tama, this is, this is a link. Ma hindi siya na change sa, sa slides. Let me just double check here. But that's the attendance sheet. Um, we can paste it sa comments as well. So please fill in the attendance sheet so you can get the certificate and get the freelancing toolkit. But even if you don't attend all four sessions, we'll still send you something as a bonus pa rin. Okay, so still please fill in the attendance sheet for everybody. Um, just answer some, some last questions here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we have a scary. Yeah, I want to learn. I want to know more about that because we have some contacts at PayPal. There are sponsors, so um, and if you have concerns with them, let me know. But I can forward it to them. Okay, that that's that's concerning. Um, we have contacts at PayPal. Is project management considered specialization? Yes, it is. It is. Um, sir, what if I'm BSIT major in foods? IT. That was. Uh, I'm a bit confused. Um, but I have skill in computer. I'm still, yes, you can learn. You can start as a generalist, even if you can graduate in college. Um, we have high school graduates long and, and mga college dropouts who are able to be successful. Thank you for this free webinar. You're, you're very welcome. Um, God bless you for sharing uh, your talent. Uh, I know that very well. Um, replay ko lang ulit yung video. Mahina na sa akin. Di ko manitin yung, di ko manitin yung topic. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, ayun, attendance sheet. May link. Um, thank you, team, for, for posting that. Thank you, guys, for attending this week. Don't forget to attend next week um, where we're going to talk about all of this. Okay, very exciting. We're going to talk about where you can find online jobs. Um, 
if it's really competitive, where you can create, how you can create a profile, a cover letter, and your more common mistakes, which a lot of, especially your mga bago, um, they make those mistakes. Okay, don't forget also to attend, well, to create, to check out the VA bootcamp, to join our Facebook group. Ang daming reminders, no? To join our Facebook group, to check out the bootcamp, sign up for a PayPal account, and fill in the attendance sheet. Ang daming steps, but um, would really appreciate that. Thank you guys for attending, and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to attend. Do attend next week. Bye-bye.